Today I am talking about how to set goals for yourself. We are a couple months into the new year and you may have already seen yourself dropping off on some of your goals. Today I am going to teach you to jump back in so that you can get what you want out of this year and out of your life. By the end of this video you are going to know exactly what to do to set goals that are achievable, that are attainable, and that are easy to follow. So stick around. As I said, in today's video, I am teaching you how to set goals for yourself. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that this is a topic that I've covered before. I talk a lot about goal setting because I do it a lot. It's really important to me. But as I continue in this journey called life, I am continually learning, especially over these last two years. I just want to push myself to be the best and to really live a life of intention. And that's really my whole purpose of this channel, Completely Karen, is to help you live your best life of intention as well. And so when I learn something new, I always totally want to share it with you gals. And I learned a better way to set goals. And it was very recently that I learned this. And so I was like, I got to get a video out because I need to share this with my gal pals. So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to figure out what it is that you really, really want out of life and how to set those goals and achieve them. Now, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button that is down below because it really helps me to reach reach more people who are just like you wanting to live a life of intention. And I really appreciate the subscription. So hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification so that you will know every time I put out a new video, which is every Tuesday. Also, before we jump into how to set goals for yourself, I wanted to give you a quick update on my if then planning. I know I was going to put out small little videos. I haven't had time to do another small little video. I've done one so far and it's been about almost three weeks since my if then planning video where I talk about I'm stuck at home and it's really hard for me to not eat constantly. If you want to check out the whole video and where I talk about if then planning and how it can help you, you can click this link up here and it will take you right there. Uh, but I wanted to give a very quick update. In the first week, I was down five pounds. I am now down eight pounds. It continues to go down the scale. <laughs> and I'm so excited about that. Like being in control and living a life of intention from my home as I work from home and being able to control my eating habits is huge. And I am so proud of myself. So again, click that link if you want to know more about if then planning and how it can help you. Let's jump in to this training. Let's talk about goals. Now think about times when you have sat down to write out your goals and think about things that you've written down as things you want to achieve. I have heard so many different things like, I want to be happier. I want to be more successful. I want to exercise more often. I want more clients. I want to be a better mother. Well, on the surface, these sound like really great goals, but if we look a little closer and a little deeper, we realize that those goals actually are pretty crappy. Now, <laughs> that sounded really rude and I'm not trying to be rude. Stick with me here because I'm going to explain and I'm gonna quantify what crappy means. They are not crappy goals. The desires are amazing. Those are great things to desire, but how unspecific they are and vague they are is what's making them crappy goals. So this is what is really important with goal setting and what I am so excited to share with you because this was literally the first time I had ever heard this in goal setting. I've always heard you need to be specific, but that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. I didn't really quite understand what be specific meant. Now I know and I'm going to teach you how. When we are setting goals, we are working in tandem with the universe and all that it has to offer us. So when we set goals that are vague or unquantifiable, the universe doesn't really know how to help us achieve that goal. And we don't really know what exactly to focus on so that we can achieve that goal and meet the universe in the middle. What we need to do is get very, very specific. And this is how. We are going to follow the W's rule. What that means is what, when, why, and what's it gonna cost. Let's go through each one of these so that I can explain exactly what each one means and then you can take this into your own life and start meeting 
every goal you set for yourself. I'm so excited. Let's jump in. So I'm going to use an example for me and then kind of give you other smaller examples so that you can work on your own goals at home. This year, I set a goal for myself to be more successful in my business. Okay, well, I thought that was specific, but maybe you're sitting at home going, that doesn't sound specific at all. And you're right. It's literally the most unspecific thing I think you could possibly say besides I want to be happier because what does that mean? I mean, it means something different to each one of us, right? So I'm learning this training and I get out my journal and I start with the what. What does wanting to be more successful in my business mean to me? So I start writing everything down and I start getting really specific. And as I'm just starting out with my online business and my coaching business, I am thinking to myself, Okay, so what does it mean to want to be successful in my business? Right now, that means that I get a coach or a mentor who has been where I have been and can help guide me through the process of websites and setting up email lists and marketing and learning to communicate better and getting my name out there and my brand and all of these things that I don't know how to do yet because I'm just starting out, but getting this coach and mentor can help me through this process with a step-by-step -step plan to follow. So for me, that is what is going to help me be successful in 2019. And even more specifically, for me, that means that I am going to attend Marie Forello's B-School, either through scholarship or through manifesting the tuition. So I wrote this all down, this is my what of my goal of I want to be more successful in 2019. That is my what. It's long, but it's specific. And you're going to have to do the same thing. It may not be as long as mine. You might even think that my goal is stupid. That's okay. It's my goal. It's not yours. Do this same thing with yours and start with the what. What does whatever you want mean to you? What does it mean to be happier? What does it mean to be a better mom? What does it mean to lose weight? What does it mean to get healthy? Think about the specific goals that you are working to achieve and then write down what exactly that means to you because it will make all the difference. Now our next step is when. When is this going to happen by? For me, B-School enrolls every February. So mine would be in February 2019, I enroll through scholarship in Marie Forello's B-School. For you, it could be you get three new clients by Thursday of next week, or you lose 15 pounds by July 31st, or you participate and run in a 5K by March 31st, 2019. Whatever it is that you are working toward, what is your goal and when is it going to happen by? The next is why. And to me, this is something that I've always known you needed to put with your goals was the why. The why is what is going to drive you forward. The why gives you the emotional connection behind what you are actually working toward. For me, the why is I get to learn from people who have already done what I want to do with my business. I get to follow a step-by-step -step plan. I get to quit my day job, which is a goal that I have had for years because I hate my day job. You guys feel that way ever? Yeah. Well, for me, I hate my day job and I have forever. And I am working so hard to be able to quit and leave it behind and move forward in my life, make a better life for me and my kids, be more independent in who I am and be strong and be proud of what I have achieved. That is my why. Yours is going to be different and that's great because it is yours. So write down your why. We've got our what, we've got our when, and now we've got our why, which again, that to me is the most important one because it brings the emotional connection back to us. Now, finally, our last step in this goal setting process is what's it gonna cost? Now, this can be different for every single goal that you set. For me, B-School is $2,000 up front or the scholarship. So I know exactly what that's gonna cost. I either get the scholarship or I do a $2,000 upfront payment, which is great, and then I'm in, and then I just get to really grow my business and 
That excites me so, so much. What is your goal going to cost? What's it going to cost to enter the race that you want to accomplish? What's it going to cost to get some workout clothes or some sh running shoes or to join a gym? Be very specific about what it's going to cost or maybe you want more money coming to you. So what's it going to cost for your clients? Are they going to be paying you full price for your services? Are they going to be buying your products at full price or are you going to offer a discount? Be very specific about what it's going to cost. And this can really go toward any goal. The whole purpose of this goal setting exercise is to understand what you need to be doing what steps you need to be taking, and it's going to drive you to take those steps. Because when we set these really vague goals, a lot of times we're just like, okay, awesome, I set a goal, now I just don't know what to do next. And this way, we've got kind of an actionable plan that we can follow to get us to the next level. This is how we work in tandem with the universe. We are doing everything we can to achieve this goal. And we've put it out there in the universe that we are working toward it. And the universe is going to help us achieve what we want to achieve. It's so great. I love being able to work in tandem with the universe and not just saying, okay, here's my goal. I'm not gonna do anything now, just bring it to me. Obviously that is not how life works. We have to do everything we can to achieve our goals as well. So get out there and start working on your goals. Now you know how to set goals. Go do it. Leave me a comment below and let me know what goal you're going to be working on. And remember to include your what, your when, your why, and what's it gonna cost so that we can all support you and cheer you on as you go after your goal. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful for each and every one of you and the support that you give me in my life. And I hope that I am able to offer that same support to you. Remember to be diligent, be badass, and as always, be you.